Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. This is my collection of antique Anami's silver banana bars. Anam is the uh, old name of uh, Vietnam, and uh, they are equivalent to about 12 troy ounces of, uh, I'd say about 98% silver. And most of these were made from melted down um, French trade dollars and other trade dollars that circulated through Southeast Asia. And uh, generally they weigh about 380 grams. And um, the basic design or they, they were called banana bars, it's only because uh, they're silver ingots but they have this bent shape that was done on purpose and they would have 10 liang, so very crudely etched uh, Chinese characters on here for 10 Chinese ounces and this says gong uh, gap which uh, basically means it's um, been assayed or tested by the government or I guess it literally means public standard or government standard and this is Zhongping which basically means um, the type of scale they used back then I guess middle scale there might have been a, you know, a few different scales for weight This one has a few banker's marks, which is pretty interesting, or silversmiths or banker's marks. And again, that crudely etched 10 ounces or liang. Some people say tail, T-A-E-L, which is, I believe, the um, Indonesian or Malaysian pronunciation of liang, or leung, which is Chinese ounce. Again, the same gong gap. Here's an uh, interesting mark. You got two roosters or hens in between some characters in the middle. And here, usually they're stamped at one end with, um, I guess it means like examined twice. And this one's being um, scored. There's someone uh, checking the silver. No inscriptions. And the relatively flat bar, not bent at all. So that this might be just a Chinese bar. So when you see these flow lines um, from the silver cooling, um, that's a good sign that it's real silver or high grade silver. And uh, these were made about the late 1800s into the turn of the century as well um, as um, they were used also in the uh, Southeast Asian uh, opium trade because the um, the people who collected and processed the opium the tribesmen or people that lived in the jungle they only recognized these types of old styled ingots so the people buying the drugs from them would uh, I guess reproduce this style of ingot and that's where you get all these um, I guess variations of stamps um, the skong gap would they start to I guess because they you know like uh, in later years they didn't use Chinese characters anymore and they would just use some sort of dye that had uh, pseudo Chinese or 
just a made up character that sort of resembles Chinese. And you could tell from that the later bars. There's an interesting uh, silver smith mark or banker's mark, some other marks. Now this is definite, uh, definitely numismatic bullion. So I'd say uh, this type of bar would probably sell at least um, two times spot silver spot value just because of the age and the history. Now we get some older bars that has official stamp marks. Now this one basically says it's from the reign of um, Ga Long, Jia Long. Um, which is about middle of the 1800s. But this inscription on the front, I cannot find it in the um, catalogs. So it might have been added on or this could be a fantasy piece made in um, mid-century of this century or I should say middle of the 20th century this is where the um, the, the uh, identifying marks become very abstract but there's some recognizable ones so it's really hard to say and then here is some official um, officially marked ingots so you have the reigning monarch Man Ming uh, some sort of um, some sort of year coding for that reign and the uh, place of um, manufacture or I guess maybe the town or city so this one definitely has some age to it And also with this one, usually the ones with the official stamp marks, um, basically it's being assayed by the government officials again. Because um, these are like, you could consider the royal mint marks. Uh, usually these, or this type of bar, would sell at a higher premium than these uh, minimally um, marked bars. This one's a lovely bar. Lots of little chop marks. And um, the books don't really mention a five tail piece. This might have been made in China to be used in uh, Vietnam or Annam back then. Because the shape is like a banana bar, but it's half sized. Still, pretty neat piece, tiny little bar. I shouldn't say tiny, that's at least six ounces right there. Well, there you have it. Uh, these are my enemies silver ingots. Banana, banana bars. Please rate, comment, 
and subscribe. Coin picker out.